didn't really decide to become a sister. I think I was just called to be a sister. Um, uh, that kind of aching feeling of I need to do something more with my life. Um, and uh, once I decided that there was a God, which was a struggle for me, I was a great existentialist thinker. I always went to mass. I did the little good girl thing. But I think uh, there was actually a question for me is how could God allow so much evil in the world? And so you're 16 and 17 and pondering all these deep thoughts. And um, when I was 17, I finally said, you know, there really is a God and God is love, truly. And so that respond, that call for a response uh, in love uh, and a total response. And it was scary uh, and it was crazy, but I did it. You make your decision for vocation uh, every day. So once there is this kind of call and response, uh, then you have those day by day uh, kind of decisions to make. Uh, and so they couldn't figure how a party girl would suddenly uh, decide that she was, not a real party girl, but kind of a party girl, would decide uh, to be a religious and remain there. In religious life, actually, I think we get more of a chance for deeper discernment than frequently people have uh, in other vocations. So if you feel you're called, check it out. Go try it on. It's like a pair of shoes, you know? Not everybody wears the same pair. Not everybody likes the same style. Go try out the religious community. See what, see what fits. See what calls you. See what's going to nourish you for life. My sisters do amazing jobs uh, on all the margins with people, but I decided to stick with education, uh, even though I had an opportunity uh, between high school principalships uh, to become a clinical psychologist. I was really almost ready uh, to make that jump um, and was called then to become a principal of another high school. And I was like, oh, and then I got thinking, no, um, I could see 40 clients a week and I could help families but I can change structures. I can talk to people. Education really touches people at so many levels of their lives. The anxious parents coming in, the grandparents who want to come for the day, and those precious children that we have every day, sometimes longer for when their parents have them. So what a great way to try to change society. What a great way to re-gift the church foundationally with its children. I suddenly said, you know, Maybe education, um, maybe clinical psychology would be fun, uh, but education is transformational. And um, I decided to stick with it, and I'm glad, because even now as a full-time teacher of graduate students and educational leadership at DePaul, uh, I'm going, yeah, this is still where it's at.